Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be repairing this Osmo Action that fell off of my car and it busted the lens. The actual cover, it didn't bother it at all. I, I'm still confused about how it busted the fisheye part of the lens. So I'm going to start right here by popping off this outside cover. It's just clipped on. So I just use a plastic tool to get in there so it don't damage anything. And I want to get that popped off there. And then there's about five screws on the front that I'll have to release to get the uh, LCD screen off of the front. And it's not, it's not clipped in. I'm just using this pry tool. I've never been in this camera before and didn't want to take a chance on damaging anything so I'm trying to be extra careful it's broken anyway so it's really not a lot of risk here and right here I'm just unclipping the LCD screen from the main board next I will be removing the heat sink I believe there was three screws holding this heat sink in. I realize at this point that my screwdriver needs to be magnetized, so I use my little magnetizing tool right here that will help me pick up all my screws. If you don't have one of those, I recommend getting one. You can get them on Amazon. They're really cheap, and they do great. And this should be the last screw holding the heat sink in. All right. Now I'm going to be ready to start releasing some of these ribbon cables that's connected to the main board. And of course my camera goes out of focus right here. And this clip just pops straight up. All the clips are just, uh, they're just little snap-in clips. Kind of like you would have if you have ever put an LCD screen in an iPhone. The only one that was a little bit aggravating was the uh, the antenna, I guess, for the wireless. It's glued. It's only it's snapped to the board just like everything else, but it's glued in place to keep it from coming unsnapped. That was the battery connection right there. It was really easy to unclip. And here's some more of these little flat ribbon cables that snap down into the board. I'm trying to go real slow here and be extra careful so I don't destroy anything. These ribbon cables here by the lens that I'm messing with, they're all taped together with a piece of kind of like cloth tape and I end up having to uh, break the cloth tape so I can get everything apart. And I don't do it with this plastic blade, I do it with a thin uh, screwdriver. All right, I'm taking the last screw out of the motherboard right here. And I know my hands look nasty in this video. I work on cars and I've just come in from working on a car and hadn't got them scrubbed down real good yet. I just had this camera on my mind and wanted to see if I could get it fixed.
All right, and here's that last little bit of glue that was holding the uh, wireless antenna in. I want to go ahead and get it off. And right here, I'm going to uh, separate these connectors by releasing this tape that's holding them all together. Makes everything come apart a lot easier. Right here, I'm releasing the battery cage. At this point, it just pops right out. Next is the USB charge port and the SD card port. They, this is uh, no longer bolted to anything. It's ready just to pop right out. And my housing in this area is damaged. Uh, so I just had to get with a screwdriver here and kind of put a little leverage on it and pop it right out. Just like that. Now I'm ready to release the last three screws holding in the camera lens. All of this disassembly has been just to get to this part right here. I have no idea how the fisheye part of the lens got busted and the protective cover was not busted. If y'all have any ideas about that, leave a comment below. I, I don't know if it was just internal stresses or what because I know the case is, is warped and damaged, but you would think that it would also damage the, uh, the lens cover. So right here I've got one more ribbon cable to unconnect from the tape and here we go we got the lens out all right right here I decided to start chipping away at the glue that holds this lens into place all these type cameras, uh, the Osmo Action, the GoPro, the SJ Cam, uh, have this threaded type lens that screws into the sensor. And that's what I'm trying to get loose right now. I'm trying to cut this glue out so I can unscrew the lens from the sensor. I had watched another video where someone had tried to do this and their camera was in full working order and they didn't want to get down and dirty with it so they never did get theirs taken apart but I actually succeed in getting this lens apart Okay, I didn't get all the glue off, but I did get it to where it would break free and got the lens to where it would screw out. At this point, I'm realizing that the lens looks a little bit different from any I've ever seen before on the GoPros and on the uh, SJ cams. They all use a 12 millimeter thread size. I measured this one with the calipers and it is 11 millimeters, which means you can't just go to Amazon or eBay and buy a new lens and screw into this sensor. Right here is the fisheye lens that was busted. I took the, uh, the cover off that was holding it together and it just collapsed and just fell out. And the inside of the lens 
was actually fine. So this gave me hope of repairing this lens. Right here's the cover that I snapped off and the fisheye lens just shattered. So I'm putting everything back together right here. I got the lens in, got the uh, USB port in, got the motherboard in. Everything's going back together. And now it's ready to pop the battery in and see what it does. And it does something I'm not really expecting without the fisheye lens on it. So it does turn on and it's wanting me to set everything back up. And now I've got it where it is showing um, the video image. And what I notice here is it is like super zoomed in. You have to get it was it will film clear very, very, very close up. If you move away a, a couple of inches, it starts getting out of focus. So I know that now I need the fisheye lens to bring everything into focus. Right here, I'm attempting to screw in and out the lens to see if I might can bring it into focus manually, but it does not seem to change anything. So next, I get my old SJ cam out. I take the fisheye lens out of it, and I'm going to put it over into the Osmo action. So I burnt the SJ cam just to get the little glass lens. I know the thread size don't fit because I've already tried it. So I can't use the whole lens. I can only use the fisheye part of the end. And this one, unlike the Osmo Action, uh, the Osmo Action has a plastic cover holding the fisheye lens in. This one has an aluminum one. I end up having to tear it off of pliers. And now I'm going to transfer it over to the Osmo Action cover and I'm going to snap it onto the Osmo Action and give it a try. So here I am snapping it back into place, cleaning it up, and I'm going to power it on. And here you can see everything is in focus, or at least I think it is. It looks like it's in focus on that small screen, but when I record a video and I put it on my computer, the outside edges are out of focus and the uh, the center is not in focus like it should be. So to my disappointment, uh, it's still not the way it should be. So I contacted DJI through email and they was really, really quick in getting back with me. And I asked them for another lens and they told me they did not sell internal parts of these cameras, that that was very delicate. They go inside the cameras, you could ruin them. And I've already been inside mine, but they still would not sell me a new lens to repair my camera with. So if anybody's got an idea of where I can get a fisheye lens that would bring this back into focus, I would thoroughly appreciate it because I love the camera and it's just, it's not in focus enough to use it. You could film something and tell what it is, but it's not going to be really clear like it was before. I thank y'all for watching. Y'all come back next time. We'll see what we got going then.